Hello, my name is Ron St. Dennis and I'm with Acuity Solutions. Thanks for visiting acuityinc.com and as always, uh, thanks for watching this video. I thought I'd uh, take a few minutes to make a short video today uh, to uh, demonstrate and talk about uh, uh, one of the uh, surface contouring drive methods uh, in NX uh, Cam 11 uh, and that would be the streamlined drive method. Uh, so we're going to start simple here. Uh, one thing unique about the streamlined drive method is that it doesn't uh, require uh, uh, a part or uh, part surfaces, uh, especially in uh, fixed axis surface contouring. Uh, there is also a variable axis surface contouring uh, streamlined drive method. Uh, we're, we're not going to do a lot with that today. Uh, just know that um, the, the variable axis uh, streamlined drive method is uh, is, is exactly the same with the exception that you have uh, uh, access to the uh, various uh, variable uh, uh, tool axis vectors. So uh, let's uh, get started here. So what I've done here is I've created a very simple uh, 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 part with, uh, with a series of uh, uh, combined projections to create uh, this little uh, uh, 3D curves uh, connected by two uh, lines here. And so I've already uh, created a uh, an X setup part and here it is. So we're going to uh, and I've created a tool as well just a one inch ball and mill no big deal. So we're going to create an operation here and we're going to find that uh, you find this under uh, mill contour mill multi-axis we're going to pick streamline. We'll pick our tool. We're we're not going to use. Uh, we have a a machine coordinate system, but we're not going to use a, a part, a workpiece. So uh, we're just going to create this. So there are, there are a couple of different methods of choosing uh, the stream, the flow, and the cross curves, and that's what this is all about. This is about uh, creating uh, your own um, drive. Uh, Pass by by selecting uh, flow curves and cross cross curves. So I'm not uh, like I said. Well, there's no part. Uh, there's no workpiece, and there's no. And I'm not going to create any geometry. If you wanted the uh, the system to create to create uh, flow curves and cross curves, uh, you'd have to select uh, some cut area geometry here, and and uh, it, you'd have to have a part. So uh, here, here it's already selected in uh, Streamline. Everything else here is pretty much standard. So we're going to go in, we're going to edit the Streamline Drive method. Now, let's talk about this dialog for a second. So you'll notice here the drive curves is set to automatic because we don't have, uh, we didn't have, and, and it would have already picked some flow curves uh, and, and cross curves. And, and these are the two uh, uh, items here and you notice they have a list so you can uh, you can create uh, multiple uh, <clears throat> flow curves and uh, multiple cross curves and uh, it, this will work with as little as um, uh, two flow curves and one cross curve so there's various uh, um, options that you, that you can use to uh, for flow and cross curves so uh, we're going to set this to specify because we want to specify our own, and we're going to select across a, a flow curve. We're going to we're going to select that as one. It tells us here that there's no part of cut geometry, and we're I'm fine with that. We're going to add a new set for the second one, and it's uh, it's important that these arrows, these direction arrows, uh, go uh, uh, in the same direction. So that takes care of our fl two flow curves. Now we're going to select uh, cross curves. And uh, basically, it's the same scenario here. You have a listing for each one, um, and we're down here on the cross now. So we're going to select the first one here. We're going to add a new set and select the second one. And we're done with that. So I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. Now, uh, you can uh, you can create mo uh, more. You can have the system create more uh, cross curves or flow curves by changing these numbers right here the number of curves on part you could you could have uh, is put as many as you want and it'll create a cross hatch on this uh, uh, surface geometry that it's going to create internally you can also do the same on the cross curves here 
uh, this is where you specify the cut direction, right? So you go in here, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna just pick the zero here. That's gonna be our cut direction. Now, uh, this has a lot of flexibility. You can uh, you can trim and extend, uh, and I've used this. I use this a lot when you get into trouble in the corner. Sometimes uh, you'll you get the tool be jumping up and down, and you'll say, I, I don't like the looks of that. So you you might want to restrict uh, by uh, trimming and extending or trimming and extending uh, your uh, your cutter path here. Now there's three different cutter uh, tool positions, and this has to do with the boundary uh, or the outside edges. And that is on, tantu, and contact. Normally, uh, and what it does is it, it will put a point on uh, the tool before it projects to the, uh, to the uh, surface that it's created. I, I, usually, uh, I'm, I usually use uh, tantu. And then uh, you'll have uh, your uh, different uh, cut patterns. Now, the step over tells you how many times you want to step across this uh, from flow curve uh, by flow curves. Uh, it doesn't have to match uh, anything up here. It can be as many times as you want. We're going to leave it at 10 for now. And then uh, you'll have here, these are uh, <clears throat> these are cut steps. So this tells how many how many cut steps do you want it to check every uh, 100 cut steps along the flow curve. You can you can also do this by uh, tolerances, in tall, out tall. And you can also change the step over here to scallop. And so this is this will this here if you turn this on if you go to preview and you hit the preview button here, it'll turn on your your grid. And so as you can see, it only has uh, uh, ten flow curves and only the two uh, cross curves. So we're going to let that go at that. And you'll see that it's pretty easy to generate uh, a cutter path. Or a toolpath uh, with no with no surface geometry, no part geometry. So that's all fine and good. Uh, and so if we if we verify this, that's uh, that's pretty good to know. But you're probably saying, okay, what do we do with this? Well, I'll show you that in a minute here. All right, before we go any further, I want to uh, show you something here. So if we uh, go back in here to edit the streamline, uh, and uh, like I told you, we can add interpolated uh, curves, both flow and um, cross curves, but we can't do it here. We can't do it on this particular part because we have no part geometry and no surface geometry. So if you try to change one of these two things, uh, we try to go to 15 here it's going to tell you that you have no part or no cut area geometry so we could very easily uh, made a surface on these on these two flow curves uh, or with the geometry that we had and we could have selected that as a uh, as a cut area geometry and then we could have uh, we could have done this uh, easily enough okay so let's uh, let's move on to a uh, We'll uh, say okay to that, save the part, and we'll uh, we'll move on to another part. So how do we use this in the real world? So uh, here we have uh, we have a, uh, a a simple block that I made, but it's got a little complex geometry down here in this uh, in this area right in here. So I've created some uh, a few pieces of extra geometry you'll notice, and that we'll use a little further uh, down the line. Uh, but right now. Uh, let me uh, let me uh, create a quick streamline uh, operation here. So one thing you're gonna uh, you're gonna realize about streamline, uh, really, as with all surface contouring uh, cutter paths. Uh, projection vector is very important. So I've created a line above here because we're, we have a cavity here and we're going to be uh, machining both sides of it. So I created a line of about four inches up and uh, long enough to, uh, uh, to cover the whole block. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to specify a vector. Uh, 
I'm sorry. Uh, I want to be away from line. <clears throat> so we're just going to pick this line. And we'll just pick a point at the end of this line. So now we have uh, we have a projection uh, vector which will be away from this line. So it'll cover both sides of this pocket, and uh, we'll be able to project drive curves and uh, and uh, cutter points uh, there. And the tool axis we're going to leave as uh, plus uh, z. And so now we're going to cut. We're going to specify. And also notice that uh, before we do this, also notice that. Uh, I'm going to uh, select a uh, workpiece here as well, which is this workpiece. And I'm going to cut, I'm going to specify a uh, a cut area. So we're going to, we're going to set this to tangent faces. We're going to select in here. It should give us all the inside. And that's what we're looking at the machine. We'll say OK. Now, uh, we're going to go into, we're going to edit the streamline drive. And you'll notice that it's set to automatic and it's already created uh, some flow curves and cross curves. OK, so we're going to, we're going to look at the list because I want to see what they look like. OK, there's one. There's two, and you'll notice that the arrows match, the direction matches. And let's look at the cross curves. And you'll see there's one. These, the uh, ends don't necessarily have to match, but it's uh, I like them. Uh, I like it when they do. Okay. So that takes care of that. Now uh, we'll just uh, select a drive, uh, a direction. Yeah, well, uh, let's uh, let's demonstrate uh, before we do that. Let's uh, let's generate. Okay. So you see, there's a, there's a basic cutter path in there. You always want to check your drive settings. I'm going to make this 10 to, and I'm going to I'm going to increase the number of step overs here to 20. We'll generate again. So basically, we have we could we could increase the number of stepovers. We could go by scallop height. I'll show you. What. We'll make a scallop height of uh, two thousandths. Okay, so that, that looks pretty good. And we could tighten that up a little bit. If you want a list of scallop height. So we can also, if we if we're not seeing enough detail down here in this radius area, we could uh, we could actually uh, add uh, cross curves and flow curves uh, to get more detail in there. We'll say okay to that. We'll save the part. So 
So one of the things that I uh, like the best about uh, Streamline Drive method is the fact that uh, uh, the inputs are pretty primitive. So you can, it's pretty easy to segregate uh, an area, a problem area. So say we had uh, had that uh, problem area down here uh, close to this radius where you got you got a tool a, a tool ball that's the same radius as the cutter radius. I mean, the same radius as uh, the radius of the part and uh, and uh, sometimes uh, that that'll create the the uh, tool to to wiggle around a little bit in there, make it and and jump in and out of the pocket. So uh, when that starts happening, I I like to segregate that area and do a separate uh, operation just for that area. So I've I've done a couple things there uh, in advance, and you'll see uh, they're pretty straightforward. They're not that difficult to do. I created a a, a couple of uh, uh, iso parametric uh, curves here uh, to segregate this little area uh, down in here. And I've also extracted some edges uh, from both the top edge here, both sides, and uh, these edges along here, the rest of these edges along here to make some cross, cut, cross curves. So let's, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to copy this operation. And I'm going to paste it, and I'm going to edit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to get rid of this cut area because we don't need it. We're going to define a new cut area, and this is what drives the automatic uh, cross and flow curves. So we're going to we're going to do them manually. So we've eliminated that. We still have the, the entire part is selected in the workpiece. Okay, so now now that we've done that, we're going to go into the uh, drive method, streamline drive method, and now you're going to see that they're automatic, but nothing is selected. So we're going to go to specify here, just like we did on the first uh, file when we had just curves, and we're going to uh, drop down the list here, and we're going to we're going to grab some we're going to grab two flow curves, two sets of flow curves. So these are extracted. Although they, it runs up above the cross curves, uh, these are um, edges that I extracted. So we're going to select these, and it, it gave you both. And it says there's no part and no cut area geometry. Uh, that's just letting you know that you're you're doing this uh, on the fly. We're going to create a new set. We're going we're gonna to select the other side. I'm going to make sure the arrows are the same. They are. We're good with that. So we're going to go down here to the cross curves. We're ready to select a new set, and we're going to. Uh, I'm going to start. Let me get a little closer here, and I'm going to select these as cross curves. Tangent curves went all the way across, and I'm going to add a new set for the second set. Now here you're going to see that it's it, there's a little bit of disconnect. That's okay. Uh, we just got to. Be careful one thing here when you select the next one you see how you got opposing uh vectors here you want to make sure or arrows you want to make sure that these are the same and we got one more here and you see as long as all the arrows are going the same direction this will work should work okay we're uh, we're gonna go Make this go quicker. We're gonna pick a number here. We're gonna let it. We're gonna leave it at 20. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, select a cut direction. And I can see right there that it's got the wrong one. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna say gonna say okay to that, and of course everything we had already done. Uh, we uh, we our projection vector is uh, away from the line. Uh, the tool axis remains the same. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. So we're gonna generate. So like I say, this allows us. The uh, 
it allows us to segregate a small area and work on just that area when you got a problem area. And you'll see, uh, we can, and plus we could, if we wanted to cut the other way, that's pretty easy to do. We just go back in there and check, pick another cut direction. <clears throat> so say we wanted to go So there it is going the other way. And uh, if we um, shut down the scalopite on this, uh, you get a nice little cutter path in here uh, that will uh, potentially uh, take care of a problem area. So that's all I have for now. Once again, thanks for watching this video. And as always, thanks for visiting acuityinc.com. Have a good day.